Hey everybody, I've been doing some mini convenience store tours on my Instagram over the past week and I thought I'd recap them here now. So grab yourself a treat and take yourself a seat because the recap is about to begin. What's up everybody? I just picked up these ruby chocolate Kit Kat balls from a local 7-Eleven in Tokyo, Japan. Now, I don't know what drew me to these buck wild balls, but something about that cranberry almond goodness really seemed to have potential. Crazy as it may sound, I felt like I was born to eat those balls. In fact, I felt like I was destined to. So I picked up a Kit Kat ball with self-assured grace and got mentally prepared to feed my face. And you know something? That berry bite was simply incredible, and I think I'd have to go on ahead and give this a 4 out of 5 dogs. So what kind of food should I try out next? Leave a comment down below and let me know what you think. What's up everybody? I just snagged myself a souffle pudding from a local family mart in Tokyo, Japan. Now truth be told, I was feeling a tad hungry and it seemed like this sweet blood sugar spike and treat was just what the doctor ordered. Basically the snack had my name written all over it in a figurative manner. So I took myself a loving spoonful, not because I wanted to, but because I actually needed to and it seemed a tad wonky. Let me try to reposition that bite and whoa, 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 a piece of souffle just went flying off the edge. Nevertheless, I did taste this treat and the combination of that achy, salty souffle with that creamy pudding made me feel like I had just attained inner solace. Long story short, I rate this puppy a 5 out of 5 dogs. What's up everybody? So I was cruising and perusing around a local family mart in Tokyo, Japan. Came across some multi-grain blueberry biscuits and decided to give them a go. Now as you can plainly see, we got some creamy blueberry filling sandwiched in between two whole grain biscuit bites. Man oh man, with all that dietary fiber and antioxidant potential, I feel like these snacks are looking pretty healthy, almost too healthy. Nevertheless, I took myself a bite and wow, just wow. The biscuit outside has a simple hearty whole grainy flavor and the blueberry inside is subtle yet sophisticated. Overall, it's a pretty nice semi-healthy snack and I think I'd have to rate it a 4 out of 5 dogs. What's up everybody? I just acquired myself some highly unique ramen from a local family mart in Tokyo, Japan. What kind of ramen is it, you ask? It's a little thing I like to call the Kogashi-style tonkotsu ramen. Kogashi is made in a special way which involves burning the base ingredients at high temperatures before serving. So I've never tried this style of ramen before, but it's supposed to have a unique char-grilled flavor to it. And after waiting a few minutes for it to prep up, I could see I had a pretty nice ramen on my hands. A DECENT ramen! So I bit into that like a hunger-crazed homo sapien, and I could taste that spicy pork bone broth burned flavor to it. It was tasting oishi to the max, and I think I'd have to give it a 4 out of 5 dogs. What's up everybody? Are you mentally prepared for some happy taste? Because I know I am. I was checking out the snack selection at a local family mart in Tokyo, Japan. Came across a whipped cream dorayaki and decided to give it a go. Now, your typical bog-standard dorayaki has red bean paste sandwiched between two castella pancakes, but whipped cream? I never had that with the red bean inside, and I was getting pretty excited to try it out. Borderline aroused. 
So I took myself a soft, succulent nibble, and man, oh man, was I simply amazed. Usually the red bean paste and castella is a tad too sweet for my liking, but that whipped cream kinda cut the sweetness a bit. It was the perfect treat, and I'd have to give it a 5 out of 5 daugs. Anyway, if you liked that recap and you want to see similar mini snack taste tests, then feel free to follow me on my Instagram. Or if you want to partake in your own snack taste test, then feel free to join up on my international snack pack service. It's a monthly subscription snack box that's bound to change your life, and I got links to both of those down below in the description box. And as always, thanks for watching this video everybody, why don't you leave a comment, let me know what you think.